true that DC had a great cinematic year with Black Adam and Batman, but trust me, 2023 will be even better. With the return of some of the universe's greatest heroes, they would definitely repeat the success. The Flash is on that card, and it's over the horizon now, with the confirmed release date and more details. So, stay with me until the end, as I have some really great news to share with you. Now, let's kick off and speak about why this movie was delayed. It's not a secret that Ezra Miller has seen better days. We've seen so many legal battles and controversies related to his name lately. The guy is known for his hit projects such as Trainwreck and the Fantastic Beasts film series. But his personal life and issues seem to trump his professional career. Miller's reputation as one of the most popular protagonists in the DC Extended Universe has been in jeopardy due to the ongoing legal disputes where Miller is accused of assault and burglary. I mean, he almost got canceled for the solo movie we're talking about right now. And nobody could have blamed Warner Brothers for that, right? Well, anyway, despite all that, there is one interesting fact. The test audience gave Ezra Miller's The Flash the highest test scores in the DC Extended Universe history, according to a report by World of Real. Many of the DCEU films have received high test scores over the years, so that may not be saying much, but for sure is welcome news to anyone following Ezra Miller's controversies. CEO David Zaslav has a lot of confidence in Miller, this movie, and its broad appeal to DC fans. The situation seems to be calm now, and the movie is a done deal, but it was definitely a hard period for us as fans as well. Warner Brothers and DC executives had an emergency meeting to discuss what will happen with Ezra, because many things went public. At this meeting, Ezra's future was on the table and the main topic. The reason for that was his recent arrest for disorderly conduct and harassment. The studio has enough time, almost a year, to make a decision about a potential sequel. An insider from the studio says that Miller had very frequent meltdowns during production. So when the story of why exactly the flesh was delayed was brought up, one of the things that had Ezra Miller at the center of it was, of course, his arrest. But apparently, there's way more to it. Not only has Ezra had these outbursts, confrontations, and meltdowns while in public, but this was also happening on set as well. There was no yelling or violent outbursts, but Ezra was definitely losing it. He would get a crazy thought in his head and say, I don't know what I'm doing, said the insider for Rolling Stone. Thank God everything is fine now, I hope. Ezra Miller hit that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. <laughs> Nah, really. He has established himself as one of the best characters in the DC Extended Universe. Since 2014, when we saw him appearing in Justice League, Suicide Squad, and Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, his appearance in Snyder's Cut was definitely better than the theatrical version. What is interesting is that in neither the Snyder's Cut nor the theatrical version, the name The Flash is ever used to describe Ezra Miller's character. Did you notice that? Miller doesn't get this nickname until the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover on the CW, which is very unusual if you ask me. But do you know why his appearance in Snyder's Cut is important? The Flash finally gives an answer if Joss Whedon's theatrical Justice League is canon. Many fans thought that DC Films would only acknowledge Whedon's version for years. Okay, enough about all that, and let's move on with the most important questions. What is coming next? What is the release date, and who is on the cast list? We were waiting for this since 2014, but the wait is almost over. Warner Brothers Discovery is set to debut a brand new trailer for Miller's solo movie during next year's Super Bowl, according to The Wrap. So, to repeat again, this is the release date for the trailer, not the movie. As you may know, the Super Bowl this year is happening on Sunday, February 12th, 2023. The last time we saw the Flash video was during DC FanDome 2021, and it happened right after the filming had finished. That video teased the two multiversal versions of Barry Allen, as well as Michael Keaton's Batman and Sasha Kaye's Supergirls. And one more thing before we skip to the cast. The release date of the movie is set to be June 16th, 2023. Yeah, that close. The movie is reportedly receiving positive reactions, and it is even expected to score higher than Christopher Nolan's acclaimed Dark Knight trilogy. 
Let's just hope Miller will stay calm until that day. His latest statement, in fact, is going in that direction. Quote, I now understand that I am suffering complex mental health issues and have begun ongoing treatment. I want to apologize to everyone that I have been alarmed and upset by my past behavior. I am committed to doing the necessary work to get back to a healthy, safe, and productive stage in my life, said Miller. Now, let's talk about the cast. Okay, the main protagonist is Ezra Miller as Barry Allen, aka The Flash. That's clear. Due to scheduling conflicts, Billy Crudup has had to pull out, so now The Conjuring's Ron Livingston will take the role of Barry's father, Henry. He will be joined by Maribel Verdu as Barry's mom, Nora. Barry's love interest will again be Kiersey Clemens as Iris West. After a string of other names had previously been attached to the project, we now know that Christina Hodson is standing behind the script, and Andy Muschietti, who was most famous for his adaptation of Stephen King's It, will be the director. We also know that both Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton will be Batman. Talking to Vanity Fair, Muschietti smashed that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. <laughs> oh no, in all seriousness now. He said, quote, The interaction and relationship between Barry and Affleck's Wayne will bring an emotional level that we haven't seen before. Keaton will take the role of Batman from Tim Burton's 1989 movie and probably its 1992 sequel. Remembering how ironically and weirdly easy this experience was for him, Keaton had an emotional moment while talking to Collider. Quote, Just a rush of memories. Without giving anything away, which I can't, basically the first shot, not of the entire movie, but let's say the introduction of Batman, is so good that when we walked on and started talking about a couple of shots and the angles, I went, whoa, this is big, said the actor. The video from 2020 teased that Michael Shannon is coming back and was last seen as Zod in 2013's Man of Steel. There is one character that we won't be able to see in this movie, and that is Ray Fisher's cyborg. Now, about the plot. This movie will be based on DC's Flashpoint saga, where Barry is trying to bring Nora Allen, his mother, back to life. Barry will enter the multiverse by traveling back to the past to prevent her murder. So now you get why there are two versions of Batman. The Flash will find himself with a different Dark Knight once Barry travels between parallel worlds. This movie is giving space for the latest cinematic version of Supergirl. Sasha Kaye will shine as the Girl of Steel. It is unclear if The Flash will keep the scenes of Gal Gadot and Henry Cavill as Wonder Woman and Superman. Their cameos have reportedly been cut, according to recent reports. But DC Studios and Warner Brothers Discovery have yet to comment on that story. The Flash will most likely serve as one of the final movies for the original universe, given the latest development about the DCU. There are no Aquaman sequels being planned after the 2023 installment, and Wonder Woman 3 was scrapped as well. The Flash will definitely be Miller's final time as the Scarlet Speedster, according to insiders. And what about you? What do you expect from this storyline? Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video!